All right, let's go get a skateboard. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last few years, you'd know that electric skateboards are a thing now. In the real world, and here on YouTube, the popular influencers have been setting a trend. Now, I'm not a skateboarder, but having built my very own DIY electric car and DIY batteries, it was only a matter of time. You see, they're pretty much the same thing. Electric car is just a big electric skateboard. So, that's what we're doing today. All right, first things first, what do we need? A skateboard. Let's see if we can find one around town that we can just go after. Skateboard shop ranch. All right, top is pharmacy board shop. Whoa, look at that. They have a lot of board. So that was a no, they don't have long boards. They only have ones with tails. Well, that sucks. So no go, boys. Okay, I think I spot one. Seems like there's only one skateboard at Walmart. You like it, Bruce? It's not that great looking, but it'll do the job. This is for you guys. And this piece right here. Boom. Huff motors, speed controller. All right, so here is what you are going to need. I was able to find the skateboard at Walmart and not at my local skateboard shop somehow. All right, first things you're gonna need, of course, are the batteries, right? Uh, just looking at the size of this board, usually uh, you could fit about six of these, which is happens to be the minimum that you can use with this system. This is a dual motor system that I found on eBay for like 350 bucks. Uh, it comes all together. It includes the motors and the trucks, the front one too. It just, you'll have to get extra, uh, a couple of extra wheels for the front, but everything else comes in there, including the little remote control and the radio. All you have to do is just provide your own battery and your own skateboard and put it all together. All right, now that we have all the materials, I say let's start. After correctly installing the trucks on the skateboard, now it's time to connect all six cells in series. This is a good time to provide the background story on this project. A year ago, I attempted a similar build using giant 45 amp hour LiPo cells for some impressive long range board. I ran into some problems with some of the hardware, but by far the biggest problem was that the 45 amp hour cells became unavailable and therefore I did not see much of a point to show you, my audience, something that can be easily built. Fast forward to a few weeks ago and now some 10,000 of these 8 amp hour LiPo cells capable of 200 amps became available at a very good price. So I decided to make a new build to show you how they can be used to power an electric skateboard. Using six cells in series will put us around 180 watt hour battery, which should be good for about 10 to 15 miles of range. All right, it's time to build the box that is going to house our battery. Uh, to do that, I bought a weld steel sheet. This is 24 inches long, so I cut this much out of it. And then, as the sides, we're gonna use these S-shaped uh, extruded aluminum angle. And what we're gonna do is gonna use double-sided tape to tape it all together. Then after that, uh, the tape is gonna serve as a cushion, you know, like shock absorbent thing. And then it's also gonna help us so that we can have the whole structure put together. And then we can drill holes and then use fastener screws to be able to put it together and then hold it together. So, let's put this thing together. All right, so here's our box. Uh, as it turns out, this thing here sticks out on the four corners, so I'm gonna mark them 
so that I can just cut it. So I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut that. Here is the box. Uh, I've decided now that I am going to put everything on here. Just stick out the cables so that we can connect it into the board. And then we'll drill this and attach it to the board. So this is gonna be a self-contained battery box with all the electronics, everything's gonna be in here. I realized that I made a mistake with this battery. The connectors here, these connectors, right? Uh, I used nuts and bolts that are thicker than the actual uh, cells. And so when you put them flat like this and you put pressure, they're most likely are gonna short out because they are touching and there's pressure being applied and everything that's uh, isolating them is just tape. And so I need to change those bolts into something shorter that is uh, thinner than the cells so they don't, are not rubbing together. And so that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, here is the test. Oh, look at that. Now they're not sticking out. So let's put this battery together now. Right after a lot of work on this box, I finally got the battery all wired up. Um, I've taped it right here also so that it doesn't bounce around. Um, I wired everything in here. It's not super neat as I would like it to be, but it'll work. It will work. I used the clamp nuts to be able to put the cables out. And this is gonna flip around, so that's why they're crisscross like that. The uh, power button is right here. The little radio is right here. I'm going to figure out if that's the good way to put it or a good position. Might have to move it out of this metal box, right? Because that needs to have, uh, well, the radio needs to have a good connection. And uh, I think sometimes metal will uh, prevent a good connection. Here is the charging port. It's just a uh, XT60 connector and I put a bunch of hot glue in here to be able to uh, secure it on here and also to keep it moisture from going in there. This has double-sided tape all across here so that is weather sealed. I am thinking of putting some uh, double-sided tape here as well right and then the screws but I will wait until I run this a couple of cycles. Once I figure all that out, then I'll put the double sided tape in here so that it's nice, so that it finishes nice and, uh, you know, weather protected. For now, I'm just gonna put screws. We're gonna test this. Like I said, I'm not a skateboarder, so. Hey dude. <laughs> you wanna test out a skateboard? Now the sad truth is that it wasn't that fast. When we tested it, it was only going about 13 miles per hour, which feels really fast when it's your first electric skateboard. Think uh, you think I can do this hill? It's pretty steep. I think it can handle it on a full charge, but you're not gonna get up it very fast. Let's try it. I mean, for 
how steep it is, this is really fast. I don't even think I could go this fast on my own power. So, back to the drawing board. All right, so I ended up completely redoing the skateboard. I changed the speed controllers to the higher end better speed controllers. Ended up adding more batteries so the voltage would be higher and it would go faster. And then after that, it was time to test it again. Hey. Hey. Ready for round two? Let's do it. Let's see if the improvements that we made to it are gonna make it go fast. Let's see, let's see if it'll burn rubber. Hold on. Brakes work! Oh, <laughs> Look, they're smelling burnt. <laughs> the motors, I think we're burning the motors. Dude, that's crazy. All right, so this is not a mountain. <laughs> it's not a mountain board. Not a mountain board. Not Let's yet. go down in the flat yeah. roads and see if... Uh... Definitely has torque on flat. Yeah. yeah. So what's the magic number? So I know what you're thinking. How much did all those parts cost? Well, considering that I bought enough to make three boards, I say a lot. But if we only count the ones that ended up in the final version of the board, then it goes something like this. The deck was 50 bucks. The hub wheels were $100 each. The vest controllers were $100 each. The battery at $10 a piece was $100. The battery box materials uh, came out to be about $50. The remote controller, $70. And the charger, $10. And then there's all the miscellaneous parts like connectors, screws, shrink tube, double-sided tape. All that stuff was around $20. All for a grand total of $700. $700 for an electric skateboard that does 22 miles per hour and has 15 miles of range. <laughs> <laughs> so as a final thought for this video, this is how you use these $10 cells to build your very own DIY electric skateboard. But most importantly, this is how one can have a ton of fun building DIY projects. I want to thank you for watching this video and I want to remind you that sharing and liking and commenting in this video helps me a ton to keep making more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. There's one last thing for this video to be finished. All right, man. This All is right. yours. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> you needed more than me. I didn't even know how to ride them. So. <laughs> All right. I appreciate this, man. All right. <laughs>